A very good morning, Honorable Health, Honorable Finance Minister and Minister of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, Sri Arun Jetli Ji, President Fiki, Sri Harshwadhan Niyotia Ji, Secretary General Sri Ridhar Singh Ji, my colleague, Mr. Shah, fellow members of the National Executive Committee, past presidents, distinguished delegates, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege for me to extend a warm vote of thanks to the very first session of FICI 89th Annual General Meeting. This, the theme of this year is reform for sustaining high growth reflect the inflection point at which we are today. The reform process to change things for the better has been racing ahead with great speed and momentum as just narrated by our Honorable Finance Minister. There can be no looking back if we are to sustain and build a climate of high growth. The government has shown great resolve and commitment to tackle some of the most complex challenges of our times and in past, in past years. It has demonstrated amply that it is ready to act quickly and is flexible to bring fresh thinking evolve responses as need, needed to support these reforms. Sir, the way the government has acted for everything what happened as a kind of a very unique event happening in the world with such a speed is worth noting. FIKI will work with the government to support this reform initiative focused on rationalization of taxes and early implementation of GST, working towards building a corruption-free India. We need to move towards ease of doing business, phase two. Enhance the role of industry in strengthening the economy. A consultative approach to create a stable and predictive economic environment. While I thank the Honorable Minister of Finance, Sri Arun Jetli Ji, for the keynote address this morning, in spite of his health problems. On behalf of Fiki, I would also like to reaffirm sir, our support to this reform process in the transformation journey. We know there is no magic wand and there are no easy solution to, ch to, to these challenges. But we need to travel this path because of the aspiration all of us we have and we all want to progress, we all want to grow, we all want to see corruption-free India, and it is all that is what is possible, we all know. As an apex body, which has been a part of India's growth, progress, and development, we are ready to work with the government to whatever it takes to create a sustainable, inclusive growth path for India. Thank you very much.